space, a final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new... This is Abraham Salton from Jerusalem with a flash tutorial on three-dimensional spaces and for this we'll be going to outer space with the Enterprise from Star Trek. Uh, we are starting on Photoshop to prepare the pictures. Uh, the planet we see is Mars, I picked from the net and uh, it came on a JPEG format and for our effect Saturn, Mars and uh, the Enterprise will have a transparent background so therefore we need to create a new image just identical in size to the JPEG we imported and make sure to set the background into transparent and let's import move into this new image the planet alone without the background we don't need the background um, for this we'll be using a well-known uh, Photoshop tool, it's called the Magic Wand. Magic Wand will select everything connected to the black surrounding the planet, but then we need the planet, not the back. So for this we'll be using the Inverse Selection command, and instead of selecting the black, it's going to select only the planet. Ready to go, we're going to copy the planet and move on to the new image and now let's ask for paste and there we have only the planets without the background now for we pretty much done now let's save it's a new file and don't forget to give a meaningful name that will allow us to distinguish that that's the planet without the background and again has to be PNG only PNG PNG and not uh, JPEGs support uh, transparent backgrounds and we set to go there we have our planet in place and we save now if you need to the source files, the planets, the flash files is all available for free from the website welcome to visit uh, welcome to download if you ask for interlacing ok all we need is a PNG without the background here we have our planet uh, the Enterprise and Saturn use the same principle, just magic wand, inverse selection, copy, paste, and let's move on for Flash. We're starting with a new document, let's create the planet on the inside of a movie clip. We're going to create a movie clip as a container for the two planets. And the planets themselves are going to be a movie clip symbol inside of another movie clip. Uh, because they need to be um, symbols in order to receive 3D coordinates. Let's first import our Mars, no background, remember the name, and comes into stage. Now I'm going to keep things pretty much organized here. Uh, uh, Mars is one layer, Saturn is one layer. Um, as I said before, he has to be a symbol in order to accept 3D coordinates. Now for for X and Y it's pretty easy, it's up and down, left and right. What we're going to mainly be using here is Z which is the distance. Uh, and despite the fact that both planets are inside of the same recipient, a movie clip, uh, they're going to have different distances so we can get our 3D effect now it's time to move on to the next layer. Let's import Saturn. Saturn went to that prepare process, has no background, and we're going to, in order to enhance the effect, put Saturn on top of Mars. And uh, let's give the name for the symbol because otherwise we will not accept three dimensional coordinates. And let's put a different distance. Uh, 250 should do and when we move them around uh, since uh, Mars is uh, further away it's going to move slower when moving on screen on the final effect let's create the stars the stars it's not much of a 3D play over here it's more about motion paths uh, there are plenty of motion path tutorials on my website 
and we're going to create a little dot create a path and then out of this dot we're going to cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste the dot as a star and the path and we're only going to change the path direction let's go to the oval tool it's only a dot, no mister over here the color is white, everybody knows what color stars are and let's transform this into a symbol yes little star that's the name of our star little star and now I can use and reuse and reuse I'll be reusing on different layers though uh, let's give uh, this animation is going to be a bit longer than our usual so 300 frames will do it to um, add frames simultaneously we press F5 let's stretch our star into a motion path and let's copy the motion copy the motion let's name the layer little star 1 star 1 will do it lock the layer let's put a new layer here star 2 and all we have to do no oval tool this time all I need to do is go to our library and uh, drag and drop we have a, a factory of stars over here, let's paste the motion, now the motion will come in the same direction as the previous original star so let's rest the uh, pointer over that path and twist it around so I have two stars going on two different directions although they are identical, the path and the star and let's see what we have, we have stars ready to move on, let's go on to the uh, Enterprise, Enterprise and the planets. The planets are a movable hip. I'm not going to import the planets. I'm importing the planets movie clip. And when I move it around, I get the 3D effect. The one closer moves faster than one behind. Let's size them and let's put them in place. And then I have to move much. Do I have to move a bit to show the effect? now let's right click over here and ask for a motion twin and you guys know how motion twins work there are plenty of motion twin uh, uh, tutorials on say-web.com and you can see it's moving now that we have a moving planet let's move on to the enterprise now the enterprise is also going to be a 3d play let's name the layer let's uh, uh, bring our JPEG, our PNG into stage and they're all organized on the same folder and there we have the enterprise we has to become a symbol to receive 3D coordinates enterprise now I'm going to make it um, really further away because you're going to start at the bottom of the screen, the screen small, moving up and going closer, enhancing the 3D effect. Let's right click over here, ask for the motion twin. Let's move. You see the motion path over there in green. Uh, as promised, is going up on the screen. Now let's the Z represents the distance, and let's move it closer and closer and closer to us and then we have our effect and thanks for watching my tutorial and you're welcome to visit uh, subscribe the newsletter are free you always get fresh new tutorials for free we have sponsors and welcome to drop by thank you very much